कैंडिड आईसीएसई टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ साइंस क्लास सिक्स Change can be defined as alteration in physical and chemical properties of matter which give a new shape and properties to it. Changes which take place by nature are known as natural changes. Changes that take place due to activities of man are called man-made changes. The changes that occur after a fixed interval of time are called periodic changes. The changes that take place at any time are known as non-periodic changes. For example, breaking of glass. The changes which are useful to us are called desirable changes. For example, ripening of fruits. The changes which are harmful to us are known as undesirable changes. For example, spoiling of food stuff. The changes which occur in a short duration of time are called fast changes. For example, burning of paper. The changes which takes longer duration of time for their completion are called slow changes. For example, formation of curd from milk. A change is reversible if the substance can be brought back to its original form after the occurrence of change. A reversible arrow is indicated by using double arrow. A change is irreversible if the substance cannot be brought back to its original state. For example, germination of seed. A physical change is the one in which the substance undergoes going the change is not destroyed no new end or compound is formed only the color shape or size of the substance may change for example conversion of water into ice and conversion of water into steam are physical changes because ice and steam can be converted back into water the composition of the chalk material remains same when we switch on, the bulb glows and when we switch off, the bulb stops glowing. Activities To separate chalk powder dissolved in water by using filtration technique. Take a circular filter paper and make four folds of it as shown. Now open it out. Three folds on one side and one single fold up three folds on one side and a single fold opposite to form. Now open it out three folds on one side and a single fold opposite to form a cone. Place the filter paper cone in a funnel for filtration process. Now take the solution containing water and chalk powder and proceed as told. Fix the cone on the filter paper by slightly wetting it. Now pour the solution by continuous stirring. Don't overfill the funnel with solution. You will see a clear solution 